What's going on guys, welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to manage and switch between multiple different Python versions. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to learn how to manage multiple different Python versions on our system and how to switch between them easily. And the tool that we're going to use to do that is called PyEnv. So this here is the PyEnv GitHub page. It's quite simple to install. You can just follow the instructions down below here in the installation section. On Mac, you use Homebrew. On Windows, you follow these instructions down here. And on Linux, in my case here on Pop! OS, you just have to run this curl command. So just curl HTTPS colon slash slash pyenv.run pipe bash, and this will automatically install PyEnv on your system. Now, once you have PyEnv on your system, you can just use it in the command line to switch between Python versions to install new Python versions without having any conflicts in the operating system. So all you have to do here is you have to say PyEnv and then uh, one of the commands that this tool offers, for example, versions to list the versions that you already have installed on your system. In my case here, I have three versions, um, the system version, which is I think 3.10. So this is just the default Python version that you had before PyEnv. And then I also have 3.7, 3.12 here, uh, 3.12 being the latest version and 3.7 just uh, an older version. And you can just go ahead now in your case, you will probably only have system if you run this for the first time, which is your default Python that you're using all the time. So uh, what you get when you just run Python 3, in my case, as I said, 3.10. Um, and you can now go ahead and install new versions by just saying pyenv install and then a version number. So for example, maybe you have an outdated code base that only runs on Python 3.6, you can just say pyenv install Python 3.6, and you can even specify an exact version 3.6 point something. Uh, if you just go with 3.6, it will take the latest release. So in this case, I think 3.6.15. And uh, there you go. So it downloads everything, it configures everything. And once it's done, you have a new Python version on your system, you of course have to select it in order to be able to use it. Uh, so you have to say, okay, at least for this project, this is the Python version I want to use, or you can even use it globally. So whenever you use Python, this is the version that you use. So we're going to talk about this here in a second. Now, while this is installing, I want to mention one thing that I encountered here on Linux. I don't know if this is relevant for Windows or Mac, but in my case, when I installed a new Python version for the first time using PyEnv, for some reason, it had some problems with TK Inter that I had to resolve. So what I had to do in order to be able to fully install a new Python version is I had to do sudo apt update. And then I had to do sudo apt install dash y tk dash def. So uh, for TK Inter, basically, because I had some problem with TK Inter, um, because my system didn't have the developer tools for TK Inter for some reason, even though it worked without PyEnv, it didn't work here in the installation. So this is something I had to do. Now, as you can see here, Python 3.6 is installed right now. If I check the versions again, I have a new Python version here and I can now go ahead and switch to this version globally. All I have to do for that is I have to say PyEnv global and I can choose a version. So 3.6.15. And then if I list this, you can see now the asterisk is here on this line, meaning that now the code I'm using, now the Python version I'm using is 3.6.15. And of course, I can switch back to uh, to something else, so 3.12, for example, then I would get 3.12 here. And of course, if I want to switch back to the system, I just say pyenv global system. And then I have my 3.10 default here. Now, let's see what this looks like. Let's go into my usual working directory here and let's create two projects. Project one and project two. And in project one, now, we're going to create a new file, we're going to call this, uh, let's call this main.py. Maybe let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see it better. Uh, and here, we're just going to use some very basic code, we're going to define a function classify number, it's going to be a very useless function doesn't really do anything interesting, but we're going to use a structure that is not uh, that was not included with um, earlier versions of Python, I don't know when it was introduced, maybe 3.10 or something. But it's the match case structure. So I can say match n, which is the parameter, and then I can say the case that n is zero. In this case, I want to print just the word zero. And then I have 
case one in this case i want to print one and then i want to have a uh, case two or actually let's return the string let's say return zero return one return uh two and then we have the case underscore which is the default and here we're going to return the string other so a very simple structure here and i can of course call this function so i can say print classify number and then uh, two for example and of course right now i think i'm using the system version 3.10 i think they should already support this so where is my pi and versions command yeah i'm using 3.10 so if i now say python 3 main py i should just get two now, what I can do is now I can go back, I can copy this um, project one main py file, I can copy to project two, then I have the same file there. And first of all, what I can do is I can set my global version to an older version. So I can say pyenv global and then 3.7. Uh, now again, when I run the version command, you can see this is the one that I'm using. And now if I go into project one, uh, and I run this Python 3 main.py, you can see invalid syntax, what is match, I don't know it, so it doesn't work. Now, the problem is maybe I don't want to use 3.7 on my system everywhere, I want to use it for this particular project, because it has an outdated code base, in this case, of course, not because match is uh, something that requires a newer version. But let's say, in one project, I want to use 3.7 in another one, I want to use the system version 3.10. What I can do is I can use the pyenv global, uh, sorry, the pyenv local command. So first, let me go back to pyenv global system to use my default everywhere. And in this particular project, I want to use um, a different version. So or actually, let's go in this one, I'm, I'm going to use 3.10. But in the other one, so let me show you here, this works again. In the other one, I want to use uh, an older version. So I want to say pyenv and now local. Now, okay, I'm not blocking this. I want just check if I'm blocking this with my camera, pyenv local 3.7. And now you will see if I run this here, Python 3 main py, it will tell me that this is a syntax error. But if I go into project one, and I run the same file, it's gonna it's gonna just return two. And how this works is that now in project two, I have a file called dot Python version, it's a hidden file here. And this dot Python version file specifies which one I'm using. So this is as simple as it gets. Now, the interesting thing here, or the important thing to mention is that this only uh, affects the terminal, if I change the version here, it doesn't change in NeoVim, it doesn't change in PyCharm, I have to do it manually. So if you want to do this in PyCharm, what you have to do is you have to um, to configure the versions down below. Now let me move my move my camera so that you can see this better. Uh, down here, I can choose my Python version. And here you can see I have 3.12, 3.10 and 3.7, but I had to add them manually. So you go to add new interpreter here, add local interpreter, and then you can just go to uh, virtual env environment, you can go to existing, or actually, uh, yeah, I think this was the right path. And what you need to do now is you need to go to at least on Linux to home username and then to dot pyenv, this one here, and then you want to go to versions. And then you want to go to the version you want to add then to the bin directory and here to the Python executable. So this is how you do that. And now you can see I also have Python 3.6. So this is how you add this to PyCharm. And you can also do something similar. Oh, now I'm moving the whole thing. This is not planned. You can also do something similar uh, for other IDs. So yeah, this is how you manage multiple different Python versions, how you switch back and forth between them easily uh, using pyenv. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.